Hi, I'm Emily Battle. And I'm Zachary Bertfeldt. And this is your Pilates core workout. These are foundational core movements, but don't get it twisted. Foundational does not mean easy. It's still gonna get that core feeling good and special. So let's get started. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna come to the back of the mat, standing with our feet slightly separated, rotate those palms forward, and we're just gonna start with a nice check-in of the body. It's always nice to see where we are at the beginning of the workout. So standing up nice and tall, either close your eyes or give yourself a soft focus. And we're just gonna mentally bring our attention down to our feet. We're gonna notice their contact with the floor where the weight is falling, the direction your toes are pointing. And as we do this, don't try to fix or adjust anything. Just simply recognize where you are as we start this workout. So continue to scan up through the ankles and calves. Take a second to check in with how those knees are feeling today. Checking in with those thighs. Notice any tension in those hips and maybe that's resonating in how we feel in our lower back. So let's see how our lower back is feeling today. Scanning up through that spine, up through the back of the neck, checking in with those shoulders where we hold a lot of tension throughout the day. So just check in with where those shoulders are. And lastly, check in with that breath. And let's take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Let it out. One more nice big inhale, grow up nice and tall. And on this exhale, tuck the chin towards the chest and start to roll down the spine, leading with the crown of the head, letting everything be heavy. Wherever you go, you go. And just check in with how close we can get to the floor without pushing it. And once you get there, take an inhale. And on the exhale, soften the knees, slowly roll it up, restack that spine. It feels so delicious. We're gonna take one more inhale. And exhale, roll it down. This time when we get to the bottom, we're just gonna stay there. We're gonna glance towards the front of the mat and walk yourself out into a downward dog position. Just take a second here, pedal out those feet. Whatever feels good to you in this moment, take it. And feels we're gonna so good. let those heels be nice and low towards the ground. Let's take an inhale here. And we're gonna shift our weight forward into a long arm plank. How do you feel about starting this workout with the plank, Zach? Do you love it? I mean, I'm here for it, are you? Yeah, I love it. But <laughs> let's shift it back to down dog. It is the beginning of the workout, so let's like take it easy. We're gonna inhale, exhale, shift it forward into plank once again. Hold it for a breath. And exhale, press it back. Let's just take one more inhale. Exhale, pull it forward into plank, hold it here. And then just lower down onto those hands and knees. And let's lie down on our back. We're gonna start talking about how to engage that core. So core engagement 101, we're gonna find our supported pelvis, which is the position our pelvis is in to support our back against the weight of our legs. We want all this work to be in the core, not in the back. So to find that supported pelvis, bring your hands onto the sides of your ribs, take a nice big inhale, let those ribs expand. And on the exhale, feel that belly draw down towards the mat. One more big inhale. Exhale, draw that belly down. Let's engage that pelvic floor. This is our stability, it is everything. To engage that pelvic floor, we wanna think we're drawing in and up in the entire vicinity of our pelvis, right? So we're gonna inhale, exhale, draw that belly in, engage that pelvic floor, let's hold it here. We should feel the lower back in contact with the floor. In this position, we're gonna bring one knee up into tabletop. Pause there, we're gonna deepen in that belly even more, press that back into the floor even more, bring that other knee into tabletop, glue those legs together. We're gonna to roll the head and shoulders off the floor, reach the arms forward. I'm gonna lengthen my legs nice and long. If that feels too special, keep them bent like Zach. And we're gonna pulse our arms up and down. As we pulse, we're gonna inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale and exhale. Good, keep it up. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. Good, inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Good, so Zach, if they're feeling a little necky in this position, do you wanna show them what, what they can do of to course. like alleviate that take tension? You can one hand behind your head, yeah. pump up the opposite arm, or take both hands behind your head and just hold, really filling up your belly, almost like a balloon, and then you 
exhale, drawing it back in. You can always drop your head down as well if that feels good for you. Yeah, whatever feels good to you. We're just warming up. Let's take one more. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, and relax. Hug those knees into the chest. Let's turn the head side to side. And we're gonna lengthen those legs nice and long on the mat. Reach those arms up towards the ceiling. Flex the feet. We're gonna take an inhale here. On the exhale, I'm gonna tuck my chin like I'm peering through the little window my arms created. And I'm gonna roll it up, reach past the feet, drop the head, take an inhale. And on the exhale, you're gonna slowly roll it down. Vertebrae by vertebrae, just laying that spine down onto the floor. We take a nice big inhale. And exhale. Peel it right back up. This should feel delicious on the spine, delicious on the abs, delicious on the backs of those legs. Let's take two more. Big inhale, exhale, reach it forward. And one more, we're gonna roll it back. We take an inhale, exhale, roll it up. This time we're gonna pause here, reaching past our feet, and we're gonna roll down nice and slow for 10 Count. So let's roll down together slowly for 10, nine, five is halfway, eight, plan accordingly, seven, <laughs> six. I feel it already. Five, let's pause at five. You're so nice. Let's hold it here at five. Let's enjoy it. Let's check in with where our shoulders are. If they're up by your ears, tell them to relax. We don't need them up there. Let's roll back to four. Let's pause at four, Zach. Just because it feels so good. It feels amazing. And let's just turn the head <laughs> side to side, release any tension in that neck. It's a luxurious feeling, really. Let's pause here in the center. Roll back to three, pausing at three. You knew it was coming. Let's turn those arms side to side, following the hands with the eyes. Ah, uh, bring it center. Let's roll up to four, why not? Up to four, take an inhale, and roll it back for three, and two, and one. You're on the ground. Your abs should be a little Ooh. awake. You feel good? I feel a little spicy, what about you? Yeah, I feel spicy too. Alrighty, let's kick it up a notch. So we're gonna find that supported pelvis. That lower back is in contact with the floor. I'm gonna bring my knees into tabletop. Now, without pulling it towards you, I just want you to place both hands on your right knee. Just place them there. Without pulling that right knee towards you, I want you to roll your head and shoulders off the floor. Without pulling that right knee towards you, lengthen that left leg nice and long. Our knee is right on top of that hip. And we switch sides, other knee in, other leg long. Hand continue to switch and switch and switch. Good, so as we're doing this, we don't need to death grip on that knee. We're just lightly guiding it in. Head and shoulders are off the floor. We're breathing, of course. Keep switching, switch. If it's ever switch. too much on your neck, you can always just drop your head down. Exactly, whatever feels good and delicious to you. We have five seconds, five and four. Good. Three, two, and last one. Oh, relax Ooh. it down. The abs are waking up. All right, so let's bring those knees back into that tabletop position. We're gonna break this next one down for you. So starting with those knees in tabletop, we're gonna roll the head and shoulders off the floor, reaching those arms forward. Now, without opening my ribs, I'm just gonna reach my arms back by my ears and then back down to the floor. That's all I'm gonna do, reach it back and down. So as we're doing this, we wanna make sure we're not floating the head back and forth, we're not popping those ribs, we're just isolating the arms, which makes it feel so extra special in those abdominals. Let's take a couple more, reach and down. One more, reach and down, pause here. We're gonna do the same thing with the legs. We're just gonna lengthen the legs forward and bring it in. Again, out and in. Zach, are you breathing? I'm trying to. If this okay. is too much for you, you bring one foot to the floor. Yeah. And we isolate by doing one leg at a time. Too much pressure in your neck, just take your hands behind your head. No big deal. Whatever feels good to you, just make sure you breathe. That's all I care about. Breathe out and in. One more out and relax it down. We're gonna put that together. So the arms and legs are gonna be moving, but those ribs stay closed. That torso stays nice and still. So let's bring those knees up into tabletop. We're gonna reach the arms forward, head and shoulders off the floor. Arms and legs reach out and everything comes in. We reach it out and in. If you wanna add a nice delicious circle of the arms, go for it. If you just wanna reach front and back, 
Whatever feels good to you, just keep that head still. Keep those shoulders off the floor. We're breathing out and in. Stay up, you got it. Good, just a few more. Stay with it, stay with it. We'll put the head down in five seconds. Good. This is three, two, and ah, relax it down. All righty, we're gonna keep going. These abs are just gonna get a whole bunch of attention, so get excited. We're gonna bring those knees back into tabletop. Bring both hands on board the legs and roll the head and shoulders off the floor. We're gonna lengthen both legs up to the ceiling. Switch both hands to that right ankle or calf, anything above the knee that you can grab. Other leg lengthens nice and long. We're gonna pull that right leg in towards us for one, two, switch, one, two. A little pull, pull, and pull. Good, and as we're doing this, I want you to think of reaching up with that top foot and out with that bottom foot. Get that delicious opposition. Should feel great in those hammies too. Uh, love Good. a stretch. Try love not to death grip stretch. here though. Nice yeah, little no death grip. fingertip touch. You're not fully pulling your knee in, it's just a nice length that should yeah, feel good. Exactly. Let's take one more. Good, now pause here. One leg's up, one leg's forward. We're gonna reach our arms forward. If it's too much on the neck, bring the head into the hands. And we're just gonna switch the legs for one and two. Ah, oh, if you wanna kick it up even higher, bring those arms back. Just keep that head off of the floor. We're almost there. This is five, four, three, Two, oh, Woo. that felt so good. And the great news is there is more. There's more to come. How this could is my, there be? I don't know. <laughs> there's way more. This next one is my personal favorite. Um, and I'm gonna get you guys into it in a way so you feel all the special feelings in those abdominals. So let's bring the head into the hands, please. We're gonna bring those knees up into a tabletop and we're gonna lengthen those legs up towards the ceiling. Take an inhale here. On the exhale, roll the head and shoulders off the floor and we're just gonna lower those legs down towards the mat and then back up towards the ceiling. We inhale down, exhale up. Good, keep it going, follow Zach. As you do this, we wanna bring the legs as far down as we can without lifting that low back off the floor. So if you feel like your low back is lifting up off the ground, then decrease that range of motion. Your legs can move an inch or two and it's still gonna feel delicious. It's still gonna feel special because the work is in the abs, not in the back. Let's take a couple more down and up. One more down and up and relax it down. All righty. One more in this delicious series of five. We're gonna bring those knees up into tabletop. We're gonna bring the head into the hands and roll the head and shoulders off the floor. Now, let's get into this a nice special way. Let's bring the knees a little more forward and let's bring our head a little closer to our knees. We're gonna lengthen one leg. I'm gonna lengthen my right leg forward, keeping that left knee bent. And we're gonna rotate our armpit towards that bent knee. Now pause here. Hold it here, love it here. And let's roll up a little higher. Get those shoulders off the floor. Something should have just woken up in those abdominals. Ooh. We're gonna hold it, we're gonna love it. It's awake, baby, it's awake. <laughs> okay, let's switch sides. Up and over, other side. And again, switch and switch. Keep moving through it. So enjoy this nice, slow, delicious tempo. There's no rush. We wanna feel all those feelings in our obliques. If you Every have to time. modify, what was that? One, if you have to modify, can't forget the modifiers. Oh yeah, yeah. One leg goes to tabletop, other foot can just be on the floor. <sighs> Find yes. a rotation from your waist as you go. And just bring the foot back down if it's too intense. Exactly, as long as those shoulders stay off the floor, it'll feel fantastic. Few more, this is three, two, and ah, oh, relax it down. Alrighty, let's give those abdominals the quickest of breaks. Go ahead, roll yourself up. We're gonna flip onto our stomach, lying down. We love to lie down. So lying on the tummy, we're gonna bring our hands by our shoulders, forehead and nose. Start on the mat. We're gonna take an inhale to prepare. On the exhale, we're gonna press into those hands and just lift our head, shoulders, rib cage off the floor. Inhale, exhale, lower it down again. Inhale. Exhale, if you wanna lift up a little higher, go for it. Pause here at the top, check in with where those shoulders are. 
right? If they're living up by our ears, we don't need them up there. Soften those elbows, draw them away. Take an inhale and exhale down. Good. Few more, just because it feels so good. Exhale. A moment of peace for the abdominals. And roll it down. And let's take one more. Ah, roll it up. Beautiful. And roll it down. Good. Let's press back into a child's pose. We got to lie down and take a child's pose. I know. What a treat. You're welcome, everyone. All righty. From that child's pose, come on to those hands and knees. So we're in this quadruped position. I wanna to touch on how to engage your core properly in this quadruped position. It's gonna set us up for success in the planks that are coming next. Yes, there are planks coming up. So in this position, I want you to go ahead, keeping those arms long, release that chest down towards the ground. Just let it hang down. See how my shoulder blades are coming together? So now I wanna press through my hands, lift my chest up and away from the floor. So those shoulder blades are nice and separated. I'm gonna do the same thing with my abdominals. I'm gonna inhale, let them drop down to the ground. And on the exhale, I'm gonna draw that belly up to my spine. So my core is engaged. The weight is out of my shoulders, right? So keeping that engagement, I'm gonna lower down onto my elbows, keeping that belly lifted pressing through those elbows. I'm gonna lengthen one leg back, ball of the foot on the floor. Take a second here to lift the belly even more, press through the elbows more, and bring that other leg back. So we're in a nice, delicious elbow plank. So notice I'm not sinking, right? Everything's nice and lifted and engaged. Zach, if they need to modify, what do you suggest? Just drop to your knees, but if you're on your knees, your pelvis pushes down with you, not up to the ceiling. Exactly. Find the scoop, squeeze your glutes. Exactly. So in this elbow plank, whether you're on your knees or not, we're gonna take a little glide forward and back. So notice my elbows aren't moving, my feet aren't moving, but I'm pulling and pushing my weight forward and back. Few more, enjoy that pull and push. Again, pull and push. Two more, forward and back. Last one, forward and back and relax it down. Shake out those shoulders, roll it back, because we're gonna get into a long arm plank. So coming into that long arm plank and we're actually gonna start with that plank on the knees. Now here's the thing you guys, doing a plank on your knees does not make it easier, right? No. It can still feel good and special on the knees and you're gonna experience that right now, get excited. So coming onto your hands and knees, we wanna find that engagement, so I'm pressing through the hands, my belly's lifted. I'm gonna walk my knees a little behind my hips, and I'm gonna tuck my toes under, so there's not too much pressure on those kneecaps. Keeping everything nice and lifted, let's press into the balls of the feet, and we're just gonna lift those, those knees up off the ground, and then just tap them down. And then again, lift it up, and tap again, up, and tap. Keep it going. So the point here is we don't want to sink into that low back. So keep pressing through those hands. Keep lifting that belly. That tap of the knee should be the lightest tap, right? Just grazing the floor. A couple more. Lift it up and tap again. Up and tap one more. Good. All righty. Let's take a nice, delicious mermaid stretch before we get into our big finish. So we're gonna sit one knee forward, one knee back. We're gonna bring one hand to the floor, other hand is over that back leg. We're gonna take a nice big inhale to prepare, and on the exhale, press into that hand, lift those hips up, reach that arm up and over, enjoy that delicious stretch. Imagine someone's pulling you across the room with this arm. Let's take one more big inhale. Exhale, press it up. Ah, good, and relax it down. Go ahead and switch legs, other knee forward, other leg back, taking an inhale. Exhale, press it up. Good, and relax it down. And if it's too much on those knees, just keep the booty on the floor, right? You don't have to lift the hips up. It's still gonna feel fantastic to get that nice stretch through the side of the body and relax it down. All righty, let's go into our big finish. Are you ready? I'm ready, are you ready? I'm ready, yeah. So let's scooch it back. 
We're gonna come on to the hands and knees to start. We're gonna tuck those toes under, and we're gonna send those hips up to the ceiling into a nice downward dog. In this position, go ahead and lengthen that right leg up towards the ceiling, and now take a second here to send that bottom heel towards the floor. Lift the ball of that top foot up towards the ceiling, keeping the leg in the air. We're gonna bend that knee and pull that knee straight through the fronts of our elbows, and then press it back. Downward dog, kick that leg up. Again, pull it forward and press it back. We have two more here, straight through and back. Maybe we get that knee in front of the elbows and pause here. Now we're gonna bring that knee to the outside of the right elbow and press it back. Over to the left and back. One more each side to the right and back. Last time to the left and back. Lower that foot to the floor. Come down onto the hands and knees. Take a second to process what just happened. And the good news is, you guys, we got one more side to do. Let's even you out. This is it. Last thing we're doing today. Go to your happy place. Let's get it. So <laughs> let's do it. On the hands and knees. Tuck those toes, booty up, heels down. Let's lengthen that left leg up towards the ceiling. We're gonna bend that knee and we're pulling it straight through those elbows and press it back. As that knee comes in, lift those abdominals up to the spine and back. Two more, gliding forward and back, just like in that elbow plank. Same rules apply, good. Pause here, let's bring that left knee to the outside of the left elbow and press it back. Cross it over to the right and back once more to the left and back. Last time to the right and back. Lower that foot down. We're gonna walk our hands back towards our feet. Release the Ooh. head. We made it. Ooh. Yes. Let's take an inhale, soften those knees on the exhale, roll it up to stand, rotate those palms forward, give yourself a soft focus or close those eyes. Let's take one final check in and see where we are at the end of this workout. So standing here, taking that scan from the feet, up through the ankles, through the calves, the knees, fronts and backs of the thighs, your hips, that lower, middle, upper back, your neck, shoulders, and lastly, check in with that breath. Sense what's changed. And let's take one more nice big inhale. On the exhale, tuck that chin, roll it down one last time, and just see how close we can get to the floor without pushing it. Sense what's changed from the beginning of the workout to the end. Notice how much you've transformed in just a few minutes of focusing on yourself and your body. Take a nice inhale here. On the exhale, soften those knees, restack the spine, roll it up. And you guys are all done. Amazing work. Ooh. Come back to this workout anytime you need to get that core feeling delicious and special. Have a wonderful day.